Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. I am VR Ingenious, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode, we finished exploring the 25th floor. Except for one thing. One door is still left that we did not traverse through. It's the door that the Chieftain warned us about. We could step through it. We could learn all about Yggdrasil's or Yggdrasil Labyrinth secrets. He will tell us about them. But it'll also mean our death. That's not what he literally said. He he kinda hinted at it, I think. But we're gonna we're gonna be curious. We're gonna be the curious ones. We're gonna go through the door because I really want to know what's up with the Grazel Labyrinth. I do. I do, and we're gonna find out in this episode. We are going to find out in this episode right after I put a blanket on top of my controller. Because I didn't do that yet. Not all the dinosaurs have respawned yet. Most of them have. But there's still one location that ha does not have a dinosaur on it. Strange. It probably does, though. I just haven't explored it fully. You know, these mobs are not what I'm looking for right now. You really are not? You really aren't. Hate to say it to you. I hate to say it to you. We are as well equipped as we are ever going to get, and we did just save, so it's okay. Although it's gonna, you know, not be particularly great if I end up... What? The vault didn't murder it? Why? Why? Let's actually look at my inventory for a second. I am curious about my consumable items. I have TP regeneration, I have health regeneration, I have... More health, revival, a lot of it, and stat regeneration. That's nice. And a war wire of nothing helps. Which was a joke, I'm sorry. You can't escape with a war wire, not in that case. Ah, he's walking away, that's nice. Let's go down to the 25th floor. Also in the south, like western part there's this one foe guarding the door toward where you could al activate all the elevators what was that guy was that just a crocodile i don't remember he wasn't anything special i know that maybe it was just mr bears but we don't know that we have a door to go through and no fight to take please no fight let's go through that definite like hidden wall yep this looks different. We're gonna need to use a card key, huh? You produce the card key given to you by the two adventurers. As you bring it near the door, the noise of a lock lifting sounds through the passage. Let's traverse. Long, long ago, a civilization greater than our own flourished. Its people had solved all the world's mysteries and, and had power to rival the gods. This power was called science. Mankind gained dominion over nature and life itself. But humanity's technology also cast a dark shadow over its future. Their forecasts and projections increasingly showed their own imminent demise. In destroying the environment, humans were making their own habitat unlivable. The danger was realized too late, and billions died in the resulting climate change. Mankind faced extinction, but there were those who refused to give up and kept fighting. The Drazzle Project was formed to augment and restore nature with human technology. Named for the mythological tree of life, the project hoped to purify the contaminated earth. Its, its lead researcher worked tireless, tirelessly, collecting data to contribute to the project. But all the while the deaths continued. The researcher lost his teammates and soon after that his wife and child. But he never gave up. He continued his, his research. At long last, he was able to synthesize the size a compound that would heal the land. But his experiments showed that a full recovery would still take thousands of years. To see the Yggdrasil project through would take more time than mankind had left. The despairing researcher considered his options. As the last researcher alive, he felt an obligation to see the culmination of their work. In order to finish the job, the researcher took Yggdrasil's power into himself. 
He relinquished his humanity to be forever fused with a great world tree. I was that man. I am Yggdrasil's guardian, the only survivor of my era. I led the project to revive the Earth, and I now serve as the God's Executor. Adventurers, you know now the mysteries of the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. Alas, these secrets are too delicate to be let out of their cage down here. I bear you no malice, but I cannot allow you to leave the Labyrinth alive. And dying, let your blood fertilize the land. Live forever with Igdrazel. Etriant. Etriant? Ha, Etriant. Boy, boy, boy. I don't even I don't even know want to know what he can do. I don't uh, CPR first. I think so. You can use trickery. You're gonna have to use trickery a lot. Let's see what the thunder can pull off. Uh, health is regenerating. That is not good. That is not good. How much does it regenerate? Is it percentage based or is it just a st set amount? That's pretty good damage. Um, sir, sir, that was you. You just healed for nine hundred. There's by, by the way, there's no other thing I can attack like his heart or his his regeneration bubble. Even though I don't know what a regeneration bubble is supposed to be, um, we can't. We can only attack him and him alone, which proves to be quite a problem right now. Um, we're gonna use a shocker just to just to see, just to see. We're gonna use immunize as well because I don't think anything good is coming out of this. A palon is gonna help. Use another another thunder. Twigs created a shield of branches. Uh oh. You will regenerate, and now you could create a shield of branches. So resist against one attack. N not, not really. That was more than 900. That was ever so slightly more than 100 damage, though. So uh, you, you up for this? You up for this? I'm ready. I, 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 I think. Yeah, his health bar is not completely yellow. He has taken damage. Not much. Let's see a cleaver. That did 555 damage just a second ago. It's not half bad, right? Nope. Nope. Tell me about it. You can just attack? That's not gonna do anything. Well, we can, might as well. Multi-hit is gonna be nice. After this, I have to uh, utilize the thievery again. Or trickery is, is actually what it's called. You can use thunder all day long. So what's that? Oh, that's only 400. What's that brand shield do? Oh, that's some nice damage. Oh, Barakus, you're you're living the dream right there. Resolve. Man, you have to take the fun out of everything, don't you? What a douche! What a douche, though! I had CPR and everything. That took a lot, man. Uh, I'm gonna take Immunize right now, because he did not do anything really, really annoying yet. By the way, that was not accuracy-based. Arrows rain from the skies. Nice. Cyclone. You're being a ding-dong. 
First he takes away my stat buffs, then he uses a really powerful AoE attack. Cool. Cool. How much? I, I've been doing damage. I've been doing damage. Yeah. I'm going to provoke again. He's probably going to nullify everything again. I didn't do, I did not see or look at how much damage my shocker did, but I'll keep on shocking. I'll keep on giving him that shocker. Self 2, I should boost. I don't have a boost. Unfortunate. And use a pylon because that's a 1500 damage attack with a stun chance. And another shield. Apparently that wore off. Uh, my people are <laughs> badly injured. So, I would really appreciate some health, Eric. Some good amounts. Uh, 250 is not enough, dude. It's not gonna cut the mustard for Barrakis. And Barrakis is my main damage dealer, so I'd rather not like for him to... You know? You know? I'd, I'd rather use CPR than uh, self 2 right now. And that multi-hit is going to be juice. The purest of juices. Dude, you're overdoing it with your branches. Turns out... He's more clever than I thought. He just, he just, you don't do that, please. At this point, he's gonna regenerate health. <sighs> what did he just do? What did he do in the end? Did we take away, did he take away our buffs again? I think he did. It's something he'd do, it's something he'd do. He apparently cannot defend from Chakran. No, I use CPR. I use CPR. That was CPR. Okay, nice memory, please. My memory, sadly, only works when I actually pay attention to what happens. And, um, you know, it should be pretty... You know, you could assume that I look at what happens here, but I really oftentimes don't pay attention. This round of Palan is gonna come... What? Yeah. Arrows rain from the skies. Nice. Ooh, good. That bronze shield appeared afterwards. Don't do that. Has he not regenerated in a bit? I think his regeneration has run out. He's gonna re he is gonna refresh that, you can be certain of that. No, I have to use Immunize. Because that Immunize uh, protects us from that storm attack. Apollon is important, and you are, keep on using that shock damage. This is closer than it looks, because if it gets out of hand, it really gets out of hand. dude. I want to use... He just used it. I'm gonna use a Hellcry here, just for that extra bit of damage. That's what I picked it up for. That's why, why I got that skill to level 10. Because that's that good of a... of a... Um, attack increase, I think. I'm not using Quicken, though, because that's a waste if he's... No, 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 no. You ass. You're such an asshat! Are you nuts, though? Well, at least I'm gonna take 900 away again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's not. You can use... No, you... Barricus still does the most damage. There is no ifs and buts about it. Let's hope he doesn't use that attack twice in a row, shall we? 
Because if he does, uh-oh. Arrows rain from the sky for a huge amount of damage. He knew melee attacks. Fine, fair with fine, fine by me. You can do that all day long. <sighs> that is a dangerous combination. Him just... <laughs> him doing what he does. Him taking away your, your you know, immunize and then giving you the... <laughs> Giving you the business, basically. Oh boy, do I immunize or do I heal? I have to heal. Just in case Keenan and Arbuckle get attacked again by some, you know, um, let's use Trickery. Don't do it. Okay. Trickery's first. So much for that healing is important business. <sighs> yep. You keep using that Nectar, though. That's why I have seven of them. You have... No, you don't do that. You use your Tornado, because I think Tornado does more damage than um, Cleaver. You use more Apalan, and you use a Zoma Prime. Now well, that Branch Shield isn't going to do anything good for you. Zoma Prime is going to fully heal us. We're still standing. What an annoying member. Member of what, Eric? You don't want to find out. We have to use Immune. Ah, CPR would be so much more useful, though. We've been getting instant killed here left and right. This guy's a douchebag. Let us... Get some good attacks in, though. Those are nice. I'm glad that he has not been re regenerating so much because I've been focusing... Uh, I've had to focus on my own healing. Oh, 900 damage, though, from Keenan. Nice. Now, of course... You don't... You, you, you don't want to... You, you, do you want to... Um... Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh man. I don't think Chuckles will survive. I honestly do not think that Chuckles will survive if he uses Tornado again, but we'll boost. And we will. I should not have boosted, but I'm greedy and look at his health. I think the arrows should come down. Yeah. Growth. That is good. That is good because I'm doing... I'm, I've got some serious damage output this round remaining. It's 900. And there's another 1,200 coming. Or 1,300 even. Thunder for 400 and then Shocker for 900. Ah! Hellcry wore off. Was enough though! The Etriant. Was that only the first phase? No. Shroud. There was a distant shattering. The small but clear sound marked the end of the world they knew. The body of Etria's chieftain rolled down from the mighty tree Drazzle. The emotions giving strength to the tree faded. The chieftain's corpse bore the signs as well. After 1,000 years of life, his cold shell lay still on the ground before their feet. A drazzle had stopped mo moving. There was no way for them to know how much of the ruined world had been purified, but they resolved not to give up, reasoning that trials existed to be overcome. The adventurers who had traveled all this way would no longer fear any obstacles. Though one adventure was over, they made a pact that day. Their new purpose was to save the Earth and spread Yggdrasil's truth to others. This picture must look really odd on your end. 
And those are the credits! Boy. Boy. This is the end of a 140, I want to say two, episode Let's Play. And boy, was it a long Let's Play. Have you heard? Some explorers finally solved the Labyrinth's mystery. I think you know them. I always knew those guys could do it. Let's go give them a big hero's welcome home. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to read out stuff during this, aren't I? What am I gonna do for, for my outro speech, though? You know, this was a very long Let's Play, and one that was far longer than I expected. I expected to get like 60, 70 episodes out of this, but no! It was 200% of that! That is much larger than my other Nintendo DS titles, and I didn't expect it. It was my first time playing through this, this was completely blind. Um, I, I did play a lot with my Nintendo DS, but... Um, so, those kids make, made it back safe from the labyrinth, but the chieftains disappeared. This town was that man's whole life, you know. There must be a good reason he's not coming back. It's not easy to think in two directions, you know, for, not for a male human being. Uh, what was I saying? I went in here completely blind, not knowing what I had, what I expected. I played a lot of Nintendo DS games in my... Um, well, a childhood, but I ne never did get my hands on this one, and I was uh, asked to play it, so I did. So I did make a Let's Play series of it, not knowing what I was getting myself into. So it turns out I've been playing this for three weeks now, and I feel pretty good about it. This was a very, very fun game to play. I don't know about the watching part. I don't know if that's been so fun to watch. You let me know about that, because you have been watching it, so... I, I would very much like to get feedback in that regard. But I've had a blast with this game. The music was great. Well, not well at times it was probably uh, I, negligent is a word of put. No, probably not. But at, at times I also could not stop myself from humming with the music, and that, that's basically the best feeling feeling I can have about any kind of music. I see, then it's up to me to become the new chieftain. <sighs> and watch over Etrian instead. He'd like that. We'll do our part too. We're interested in what becomes out of the LP squad. Or, or something. So, I talked about music. So, I also really enjoyed myself with the gameplay. There were a lot of issues with the grinding, like the special item drops and it kind of does not give me a good feeling that I just got an item called Shroud, because if I get an item from a final boss, that means there's some some past fi post-final boss content, and I'm not going down to the sixth stratum. Not not right now, anyways. I've been I've I'm really behind on uploading basically anything because I've had to well, not I've had to, but I've played this for three weeks. I usually just play one game at a time. And um, at times I upload seven videos per day, and I've come that I've gotten down to three videos per day a day. Even though on average I still record seven on average per day. So where where are those videos gonna go? I'm probably gonna be at some point. I, at some point I'm gonna have a, a backlog of 400 episodes that I still have to put out, and not not having anything to record because you know I created too much in advance. This was a Nintendo title. The end. Returning to the title screen, do you want to save your game? Yes. Also, let me know what you want to see as a Let's Play, because there is, not only is there a lot of Nintendo DS games I want to Let's Play, there's a lot of Nintendo DS games I do not know about. There's a lot I can't Let's Play, because I don't, I'm, I'm using an emulator right here. I would rather have a recording setup with a normal Nintendo DS, or maybe a 3DS, and, um, have have the hardware in my hand and just use a a capture card thing here like something like a capture card to have the content be recorded by my computer that is possible but it's a costly setup but um having an emulator causes some some roms some games not to function correctly 
because they get ported to the PC to to be emulated, but the the CPU is not or or the the software is not optimized for playing those games. The Nintendo 3DS, for example, would be as optimized as it gets for those titles because they they really um, use the use what the processor can put out, which my PC cannot because it's not designed for this purpose. But that is cool. I've been playing it, and this is the only way I can play it currently. So I will, of course. And um, there is more Etrian Odyssey titles. This was Etrian Odyssey 1. They've got four games. Etrian Odyssey 2 is next on the bucket list uh, for, for Nintendo DS titles. If you don't have anything to put in. Because you can always give me feedback. I will definitely think about it. But still at this point where you're watching this right now. I will already have the next Nintendo DS title in the box. So it's going to be can be uploaded tomorrow or something else probably but i really enjoyed myself with it and i hope you did too now let's see what what is this post game content we just saved the game anybody real happy you you're happy no not no well that's i could you seem very tired are you all right i see you're on your journey to conquer the depth of Yggdrasil labyrinth well whenever you feel tired feel free to rest in our inn no, I will. New quests. Of course. Call of the Wyvern. The Wyvern's cries have sounded strangely late, uh, strange lately. Is it some sort of omen? Could you investigate this? Proof of heroism. I lost my arm to a blizzard-breathing dragon, but I'm the only one who's seen it. Proves, prove it exists for me. Remnants of an age past. Find some more of those ong-shaped objects you found on B21F, would you? I need as many as you can get. Well, that was, that's, that's just awesome. That earns me a lot of money. Those are like really, th those earn, th earn me 30k. Not doing that right now. Let's see, what happens if I sell that, that, that shroud? The shroud for 10,000. Fragile bark enveloping Yggdrasil's corpse for Moss Coat. What's a Moss Coat? I don't want... Oh, God. Moss Coat is 125,000 money. Expensive coat made from Yggdrasil. Elemental resistance up and 35 defense for everybody. Okay. What does my, my smart book say about Yggdrasil? Ah, members of LP squad, I've reviewed your report. I never dreamed the chieftain was behind something like the Grazel project. Truthfully, it's such an outrageous story that I'm not sure I will fully grasp it yet. Nonetheless, the chieftain is gone. I'll have to think long and hard about Etria's future. It's long relied on people coming to solve the mysteries of the labyrinth. What to do now that there are no such mysteries left? We'll have to account for what for that when planning for the future. But don't let me hold you back from discovering what still lies within the labyrinth. I believe it's something that must be done. Anyway, I present, present you this to show my gratitude for finding the truth about the chieftain. Town Medal. This is a medal granted to adventurers who have reached the labyrinth's 25th floor. It proves that the LP Squad Guild is home to the best of adventurers in Etria. What? Yeah. Hold your heads high and continue your excellent work. There are new, no, no new missions. Let's see that monstrous codex, the Etriant. Shroud is his only drop. The form of the chieftain took as the Lord of Yggdrasil when he, he fused with the Labyrinth. Gold horn, blah, 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 blah. Shroud is not the final item. I have I have this this the strong suspicion that there's more on the 25th floor there. But this is not for post game content if you want to see it. I still have the save. So if you want to see me play more of this, tell me in the comment section. I will. There's going to be post you know post let's play content then. 
like some kind of DLC or some I don't know TLC. I'm a moron sometimes. I hope you enjoyed this let's play of Etrian Odyssey, and I hope I will see you in other series of mine as well. I have numerous of those out there. There is a bunch of different playlists I have on my YouTube channel and high quality content that you can watch at your leisure. It's also free, I might add, free entertainment. No no reason to, to feel, you know, guilty about that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you around. Bye-bye.